チョック呪言チョック見切りました逃げようなんて思わないでよねふうみんながそばにいる有限なる来店呪言チョックあっまっおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおリツリオチョック逃げようなんて思わないでよねここだよあっ、ビフィーエンデッドライトみんながそばにいるすなわち永遠なり逃げ道はありませんふっはっはっせっかっそこっ呪言風だーみんなは俺がま振動の権限リツリオ Show me the money. Show me the money. Hey, show me the money. Show me, just show me the money, motherfucker. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Can't touch me, bro. I'm a smooth motherfucking criminal, baby. How dare you? How dare you, bro? Can't touch me, bro. Can't touch me, bro. Ow. Dang. No, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. Game. Don't piss me off, bro. Don't piss me off today, bro. I'm having a great day. Don't piss me off today, bro. I'm having a great fucking day, man. Okay? Bring your big ass over here, then, bro. What you want to do? I need you to get up in the mix with me, though. I need you to get up in the fucking mix with me, though. I need both of you niggas to get some of this shot. Both of y'all niggas about to get baptized. Nah, man, come on. We need that nine minute mark, baby. We need that nine minute mark, baby. Her old ain't up quite yet. No! No! Bang! Oh! All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over to showcase comp real quick. Of course, we're we're using Mama Miko, my baby. Uh, she has an R5 with Sith. We got 70 over 181 in the crit damage department. Ideally, honestly, you should have about 200 in a, in a very solid build uh, for Yai Miko, but it is what it is. We're using Thunder Soother set. We have the most dog shit uh, electro cup piece, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's really where we're struggling at. Um, feather's not too bad. Take the feather. Uh, this is not too bad either. And that's also definitely not too bad. In fact, that's almost a perfect fucking piece there. Um, and then the same thing with this. This is also an amazing piece. The really only thing we're struggling with is honestly this fucking piece. Dog shit, dude. <laughs> if we could have had like a 20% crit damage with a 3.5, I would have fucking taken it, taken it, bro. We'd have been at 200% crit damage. Like I said, man, it is what it is. She's at C0, 6, 6, and 8. And uh, we cleared that abyss with fucking ease. Now, yeah, granted, I did get everybody's ults up just to, you know, 
exaggerate the performance, but you don't have to get everybody's ults up to clear it. In fact, I live streamed a, a full blown playthrough and I did not have everybody's ults up. So you don't need that up. I was just doing that to show you the capabilities of the team composition, but she does have some energy recharge problems. Uh, even with Raiden on the team, she does have some energy recharge problems. I'm not gonna lie to you, but in her defense, look at my fucking build. I have 104.5 energy recharge, bro. My shit is literally non-existent. So, there is that. Uh, our Raiden is 62.5 over 96.6. My Raiden has never ever had a, an overpowered build. It's always been very average. We got an R5 Waybreaker's Fin though. That shit is powerful. Uh, and we have Emblem of Severed Fate. But like I said, man, I'm telling you, if you look at my Emblem of Severed Fate, it ain't nothing to brag home about, bro. That's a very good piece. Uh, that's solid. The other two are dog shit. That's not good. Just not good. <laughs> That is, we got all the rolls in the wrong places. We don't even have, we don't, crit damage is almost, actually crit damage ain't there. The crit value is almost non-existent. And then here, we got a solid crit damage roll on there, but everything else is absolute shit. Uh, constellations are C0. Dream, dream, one day, one day, I'm dreaming, one day we'll get a C2, I don't know. 10, 8, and 4 is her stats. Uh, our Venti, level 70 with the Elegy of the N, Veritas and Veneer. C0 and he's 6 and 6. So he can get so much stronger. Venti really can. He's a monster. If you're wondering why I'm using him, I don't own fucking Cosmo. So fuck off with that concept. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you're wondering why I'm using him over Sucrose, I simply like Venti better, man. I'm not going to lie to you. With the Elegy of the End Bow, plus his talent giving 15 energy back to Raiden and Yai Miko, he's another mini battery that helps the team out significantly, especially with my shitty ass energy recharge on my Yai Miko. Not to mention his damage on his ult is the real deal holy field if you hit them on the head i know people are like well you can't swirl bigger monsters you can still land the fucking ult if you know what you're doing with venti buddy so therefore his value is still great if you land the ult correctly uh but yeah he's just overall a good synergistic unit for this for the team composition just because elegy of the end plus the battery plus the damage and uh yai miko and him run pretty smoothly bro her uh her skill when she likes shampoo steps she can shampoo step to a good positioning for Venti's ult. It's actually beautiful. And you, I don't know if you guys realize that during the Abyss runs, but there's a lot of times where I shampoo step to get good positioning for Venti's ult. It's fucking beautiful. It really is. Anyways, we got a uh, Skyward Blade on uh, Bennett. We finally fucking invested in our Bennett and took him a little bit higher in terms of investment. So now we have a Skyward Blade 608. Uh, we're looking at, oh, it doesn't matter what his stats are. No, bless oblige. C6 Bennett, and then we have a Fantastic Voyage at level 11. So I do want to crown my Bennett eventually because that's another 100 flat attack that I'll get if I crown him. So I do want to crown his ass eventually. It's just a matter of getting around to it. But that's the team composition, man. And uh, th uh, closing thoughts. Yeah, Miko's very, very strong. Um, I am running her with the RS5 Witsith. Yeah, you do have some RNG luck on your side, but guys, it's re you can reset as many times as you need to reset to get a good run, and that's the beautiful thing about the Witsith. People are like, yeah, but you might you might not get the our elemental damage bonus. You might not get the attack bonus, bro. You literally can reset infinite fucking times, bro, and reset that bitch until you get a solid run in. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. Uh, the other thing that's good about the Witsif though is that that 20 second shit is not that big of a deal either because you're using, you're literally using that time to fill with the Raiden Shogun. Like she fills that time for you. It's not that big of an issue. As I've said in my previous goddamn pre-analysis videos, I've been said this shit. Like it's just, I'm like a fucking broken record at this point in time. But uh, she does struggle with energy recharge, and I still stand by my word. If you don't have a Raiden, she's probably a skip. We are going to get a guide out. I'm just still tweaking and testing all kind of shit. We are going to get a guide out, though, but I just wanted to at least give you guys a showcase so that you can see with your own eyes what this this, this build is capable of. Um, but if you have a Kazuha, she is so much stronger. If you have a Kazuha, she's much, much stronger. That 40% damage bonus that Kazuha supplies is just monstrous. But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the showcase, man. Y'all take care. There's so much more Yai Miko content coming. Don't worry. Plenty of more in store. Take care.